Hi, White Horse fans. Hope everybody's doing great out there. Ball time is rolling in. It's just getting warm and fuzzy everywhere, you know? It's nice. The equinox. You can always tell by fall by the equinox. That shade of sun, you know, the way it moves is really cool. Halloween's coming. Football's back. It's really cool stuff. Uh, tonight, I'm going to go over a few new products with you. My reviews, uh, you've watched them before. They're not too um, in-depth. I don't go into really deep detail of everything. I just like to make this a, a guide for you to kind of just help you with your next buying uh, experience. If you're buying a new sub tank or if you're just starting, if you just want to quit smoking and you want to come into the store, I just try to use this as a guide. Um, another thing I want to talk about, which is really important to me and to my staff, this is our three year anniversary. We're very excited, we're very proud. Uh, White Horse started as a small company in Providence, Rhode Island like literally making product in a very, a very small confined space. And now we've grown to numerous stores. We have a store opening up in Denver, Dallas, three in Northern Virginia, and uh, we're spreading in, uh, in our local area too. So it's really cool. Um, thank you to everyone for supporting us. And stay local. Like wherever you usually buy from, whether it's a market, whether it's a, uh, you get your repairs done, I don't know, whatever it is, you come to a vape shop, Keep it local. Like, I know online prices are great and maybe you save a little bit of money, but come on. I'm like, there's nothing better than going into your favorite store, whatever that might be, and meeting friends, talking about the products you're going to buy, and keeping it local, you know? I went to a bar last week. I talked at a bartender. I shave off pretty good tips because being in the restaurant business my whole life, I gave him a good tip, right? And he said he vaped. And I said, bro, it's great. You had to come down to one of my stores. He goes, I buy everything online. It's cheaper. Hello, <laughs> come, to come to your bar. I'm going to hook you up. Not just me. It's just the local community in general. Let's keep supporting it. It's a, it's a big thing, and it's gotten away from the whole marketplace. It's good to keep it strong. So, all right, let's get moving, all right? I'm not going to start rambling. I don't like to, but so we got three, four, five products here. Uh, first, we're going to go with Tanks. We're going to go with tanks. This is the Phantom Micro. You would think it was a side fill because the full size Phantom was a side fill. So you would think this is a side fill. It's not. It's a bottom fill. So we're going back in time a little bit. The Phantom One is a good product. I'll be honest with you. I ordered it. I was kind of on the fly and I just assumed that it was going to be side fill. And I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not. Um, three and a half mil tank. Uh, they do a pretty good job. They brought us the Arctic, now the Phantom. I think it looks pretty cool with the windows. Ah, really upset about that. I wish it was side fill. The whole market's moving towards that, you know? So we're going to move on to the next tank. Crown, here we come. Now, the Crown has been very hot as of late. We just got them in. We're very excited to have them. And it is a top fill. And it comes in black. And it comes in silver. Which is um, really nice because black is really taken off uh, for sub tanks. It's on fire right now. The Heracles black, I mean, we can't hang on to them. Heracles is probably one of our favorite tanks sub tanks of all time. It's a little bit of a pain to fill, but uh, it does a great job. Um, I've used this crown for a short amount of time, but I got to say I'm pretty impressed. And um, it's past the Dino splash test. I do this all the time. When I'm sitting on the couch, I, I go like that. And there's a bunch of liquid that always sprays out. If you're a big sub tank user, I'm sure you've noticed it. This tank is not splashing and it's not going everywhere, and I'm not tasting a lot of juice. I'm impressed. The coils on here, 0.25, three of them come stock. There's a lot of surface area on these coils. Um, that makes for a great flavor. This is a dual coil. So, I mean, this thing, these things are huge, bored out, enormous, and they're going to make for great flavor. You guys that like to uh, talk about Talk about tanks going through juice a lot. You might not like this, but I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear tanks going through a lot of juice. 
It's the way it is. We love what we do, right? We love that we vape. And if our wives or fiancés or girlfriends want to get upset about it, then they should can compare it to us going to run a bar tab somewhere, okay? That's way more expensive and more detrimental to a relationship. So <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Uh, airflow is great through this crown tank. Uh, so whatever you do is duplicated on, um, on the other side. It's got a lot of different settings. The glass on this tank is not Pyrex, it's quartz. I thought that was, that was a pretty cool feature. Uh, you know that, especially this time of year, we start getting the coffees, um, some heavier flavors, hazelnut, I'm vaping that right now, hazelnut, peanut butter, vanilla. The reason why quartz is a better feature than Pyrex is because it, it doesn't, the, the flavor doesn't stick around as, as much. You can get rid of it a lot easier, you know? Mint flavors, our, our mints, our chocolate mints, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of that flavor. 100% food grade stainless steel construction. Not really important to me, but that's thoughtful. You know, It's a well thought out product. Uh, the airflows I talked about, they're huge, major, major vapor. Watch this. Major. A little dark Vader like. You know, when you're coming around the corner, I mean, this thing is kinda of loud, you know, but. Sure, the mic can, can pick that up. That's wide open right now. Four mil tank, uh, tank capacity, so it holds a lot of juice. You can top fill and bottom fill. Some people just like the bottom fill, I don't know, but top fill is kind of, it's convenient. It's got some good, some good space to get liquid in there. You don't necessarily need a needle point like some others. So I love my Triton, but it's a little bit of a pain to, to, to fill sometimes. Um, and um, also Japanese organic cotton, which is a great, great feature because uh, it, it makes a great flavor. So I am, as of right now, it's a little early. This is not, it's been out for about a month. Um, so I'm going to give it strong, strong nine, nine and a half. It's tough for me to give something a 10. Like I said, we haven't found that perfect bait, but this is really, really close. The flavor on this crown tank is outstanding. Goes through juice, I don't want to hear it. The flavor is amazing, all right? The coils, there are some hefty suckers, so that sounded kind of corny, but whatever. Um, strongly recommend, go with it, all right? Two coils, you get three coils and you get an extra, some extra glass there. IPVD2, not really part of the review, but I'm telling you this thing is on fire. It's amazing how what we've noticed in our, in our retail stores, how small and powerful sells really, really good. The IPVD2, they're so hard to get a hold of right now. It's so compact, stealth-like, discreet, fits in your hand, nobody knows nothing, put a black tank on there. I mean, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Just notice that. You gotta make sure that you uh, unscrew this crown tank at the base. Watch out for that. Almost had a little tank explosion there, juice explosion. I mean, look how good looking this is. Sharp, you know? This time of the year, this time of the year, this is what you want, you know? This thing's beautiful, I love it. Um, let's move on to some juice. Okay, I don't, when I, we take a new juice into one of our stores, we don't like to, listen, let's order some, the marketing's great on some of this stuff. Let's order, I don't even sample sometimes. If it's got a good review uh, from some, some review companies that I, I looked at, like Spin Fuel, and the marketing looks on point and people are talking about it, I just bring it right in. So the first one is I love donuts. It's a blueberry donut. Marketing, A1. Awesome job, guys. They're out of LA. Uh, they got some cool cards with warning facts. It's like, it looks like a nutritional facts on the back. Great packaging. I try the juice, and that's what we all want to know about. I think it's, it's not for me. Um, our blueberry, like we pride ourselves on it. I'm not going to put their blueberry down. It's just done a different way. Donuts are very popular right now. It's not for me, but maybe you, you might like it. Come by and try it. We have it on some great testers, and, you know, it might be for you. For me, I, I, it's just not for me. I'm not even going to go with a 1 through 10 right now. Uh, Scully Rose, another, all these California companies, you know, they're everywhere. 
Uh, they do a great job out there, though. And also, this marketing and packaging does great things for the vape industry. It makes it look exciting. It makes people adapt to a lifestyle, a lifestyle of vaping. It's great. Scully Rose from the makers of Ripe Vapes. Now, Ripe Vapes is an outstanding juice company. They do a wonderful job. They uh, branched out and came up with Scully Rose. Uh, it's the guy from, like, I think Backstreet Boys or Boys to Men. I don't know, something like that, but that's cool. Um, and it looks really good. Comes in, uh, their display comes in a coffin, which is all right, you know, a little coffin thing there. Some people have given me hell about it, you know, like, dude, like e juice and like a, a coffin, what's up with that? But <laughs> whatever, man. Let's not overthink it too much. Um, first flavor is uh, Candace Rose. Guess what? It's got rose in it. Rose and peach. A lot of women that have come into our stores, or this store, the only one it's been in so far, like this a lot. It's peach and rose. It's very interesting. Dripping it is really nice, too. I dripped it, and I liked it better dripping it than I did in the tank. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, blueberry pancake. I get the pancake. I don't get the blueberry, but I'm like kind of like a blueberry snob, and I'm going to tell you why in a second here, but um, blueberry pancake. So this time of the year, I hate to keep bringing the seasonal stuff up, but that's just the way it is. I mean, this time of the year, palates change, all right? And then I'm going to talk about our flavor. It's called Jet. It's blueberry. It's like blueberry madness around here right now. So it's blueberry and our classic Milli Vanilli mixed together. We sell a lot of this, and it's just I just thought it was fitting to bring it up because we were talking about a couple other blueberries. Awesome, awesome flavor. Phenomenal. I give this a 10. No, I'm just joking. A lot of people do. Listen, I think all these are good vapes. They wouldn't be here. So I want to get that out of the way. And that's pretty much it. I'm rocking out an IPV 4S. I'm loving the dual battery. I never I usually always went with a single battery, but I'm on two, two batteries now. I just, it's just more conducive to my lifestyle. I vape a ton. So that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Congratulations uh, to some of our new franchise owners throughout the country and staff at Whitehorse. You do an amazing job. We, I love you and uh, we all love each other. All right. One big love session. All right. So vape on. I'm going to give it one big vape for the road. This thing rocks, man. Rocks. What's up, everybody? If you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to like us on Facebook and then to see past videos and videos moving forward, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we're going to be updating it all the time. And if you don't like us, learn to like us. All right. Love you guys. Take care.